don't think hell exists. I happen to believe in life after death, but I don't think it's got a thing to do with reward and punishment. Religion is always in the control business. Uh, and that's something people don't really understand. It's, it's in the guilt-producing control business. And if you have heaven as a place where you're rewarded for your goodness and hell as a place where you're punished for your evil, then you sort of have control of the population. And so they create this fiery place, which has quite literally scared the hell out of a lot of people throughout Christian history. Mm -hmm. And it's part of a control tactic. But wait a minute, you're saying that hell, the idea of a place under the earth or somewhere where you're tormented for an eternity, is actually an invention oh, of yes. the church. I think the church fired its furnaces hotter than anybody else. <clears throat> but I think there's a sense in most religious life of, of reward and punishment in some form. Jeez. The church doesn't like for people to grow up because you can't control grown-ups. That's why we talk about being born again. When you're born again, you're still a child. The people don't need to be born again, they need to grow up. They need to accept their responsibility for themselves and the world. What do you make of the theology, which uh, is pretty quite prominent these days in America, which is that there is one guaranteed way not to go to hell, and that is to accept Jesus as your personal savior. Yeah, I grew up in that tradition. Uh, every church I know claims that we are the true church. They, and they have some ultimate authority. We have the infallible Pope, we have the inerrant Bible. The idea that the truth of God can be bound in any human system, by any human creed, by any human book, is almost beyond imagination for me. I mean, God is not a Christian. God is not a Jew or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddhist. All of those are human systems which human beings have created to try to help us walk into the mystery of God. I don't have a relationship with God because I'm afraid of burning in hell. I have a relationship with God because He helps me in my day-to-day -day living. Because there, if there is an eternal place to go live, I want to go see it. You need God fixing you some kind of way. I don't care who you are, I don't care how much money you got. You need God. I was miserable. We was kings of comedy. The only time I had a good time was when I was on stage. The only time I had a good time, I was in front of the camera. I was with Sid and the boys, we was performing. When I got off that stage, my life was miserable. I was in a pain you would not believe. I was in an abyss, man. I was in a dark place. How, how in the world did I get here? I got here because of God's grace. My fight had overtaken me, and I was about done. But right when you think you about done, don't he always show up? The God I serve, you can't put no limitations on him. If you just get out the way, he can show you something. He do miraculous things all the time. Why would you not want one of them miracles to happen for you? I'm sitting here for me to be here today. The dude that I was, it's a miracle. God is in the make your dream come true business. God is in the get your life together business. God is in the forgiving business. Don't let nobody fool you, man. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't forget to pray. Don't be ashamed to pray. And don't ever be too proud to pray because prayer, prayer changes things. Prayer changed people too.